Okay, now tell me what's your favorite movie? Oh, geez, another big one. Um, I don't really have a favorite movie. I have favorite actors. Favorite actors. Um, I I love Michael Caine. Uh, I'll see anything that he did or that he's 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 in. Um, I'm a huge, huge, huge uh, Robert Downey Jr. fan. Mm-hmm. Um, and any kind of superhero movie. Uh-huh. My my dream is to play a superhero. Uh-huh. Um, so I would I would love to do it. I used to be obsessed with that. I mean, I'm still obsessed with Batman, and that mm-hmm. would be the best movie I could think of doing. But since Christian Bale and Christopher Nolan and Michael Caine and everybody through Heath Ledger, like, all just did these unbelievable Batman Begins in the Dark Knight, uh-huh. I don't want, really want to be the next Batman, because no matter what, it's not going to be as good as those ones. It's not, mm-hmm. So um, probably the ideal role now would be to... Um, to take over the Superman franchise and, and uh-huh. reboot it like they did Batman. Uh-huh. You don't want to be the next Spider-Man? <laughs> oh, of course I'd love to, but I, I think it's uh, it's going to go some some other way. I mean, uh-huh. there's so many rumors of Logan Lerman and exactly. Zac Efron and Robert Pattinson. And, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I don't see it happening. But, uh-huh. of course, I would love to play Spider-Man. Who wouldn't? <laughs> exactly. Right. Now, tell me, um, what's your favorite fast food restaurant? Uh, In-N-Out Burger, probably. In-N-Out Burger. Um, there's a place in Toronto called Harvey's, or in Canada called Harvey's, uh-huh. which is, like, really good burgers, uh-huh. but they don't have them in the States, so definitely In-N-Out. Ah, uh, In-N-Out. Okay. Uh-huh. And last question. You're going to like this one. What is the best part about being a member of Fire and Ice? <laughs> <laughs> the best part about being a member of Fire and Ice? Yes. Um... Is the best part about it is being a part of the best band in the world so on the planet. We're, we got huge gigs coming up. We're playing in London, uh-huh. Australia, Japan. Of course. We're traveling. We're going global. Would you like to tell our viewers, also known as, what's the other name of the band? <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> oh, yes, diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now tell me. Um, Ask you about Twitter.com, and your username is sure. Robbie Amel. You want to tell me how yeah, do you like it, using Twitter? Uh, it's at Robbie Amel. Um, you know, I, I honestly just got into Twitter a couple months ago. Before that, it was, it was a fake person on my name, mm-hmm. and um, it, it just started getting frustrating because somebody people would ask me about Twitter, like, do you have it? And I always said no. And then I found out that somebody had a fake me, and they were friends with people that I've never met before. Wow. And, like, they were they were making comments to them that I would never make. And I was like, you know what? That's enough. I don't want people thinking anything different of me because some idiot behind his computer is pretending to be me. Right. So uh, I got in touch with Twitter, and they were gracious enough to give me my account uh, within a couple of days. And uh, it's actually very addicting. Uh-huh. Um, it gives me a reason to to take more Blackberry pictures of things and, uh, and and upload them and tweet them. And uh, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's nice to read comments back from people and know that people actually, you know, care about what's going on. But right. um, it's also a great way to stay in touch with friends and, and just kind of know what's going on without having to call them every couple minutes. Exactly, like when you went to Universal a couple of days ago, we cut, we kept posted, like, what picture you had and everything, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Yeah, Universal was a lot of fun. That was my first trip. Uh-huh. Oh, your first trip, wow. And you've lived in California mm-hmm. for a while. I know, I'm, I'm a Disneyland, Disneyland kind of person, so I've been to Disneyland a few times. I love Six Flags. I was actually there last night for oh. the uh, Schoolgirls premiere. Uh-huh. And uh, that was a lot of fun. They shut down the rides from like 7 o'clock at night until midnight, and uh, we got to ride them. It was, it was like a little kid's dream, and I'm very much still a little kid. So I had a blast. Oh, see, I have to mention this one tweet between you and Matt. I thought it was absolutely hilarious. Matt tweeted, to the people going to the schoolgirls' premiere, do we get to go on the rides after? And you <laughs> tweeted. Yes, Matt. We yes, do. Matt, we do. <laughs> that was absolutely hilarious. That was, like, one of my favorite tweets. <laughs> awesome. Uh, I love that. So, and Thank you. Can you also tell our viewers, um, you have a Facebook, you announced that. Do you have a MySpace as well or just Facebook? Uh, I don't have a I don't have a MySpace. Um, I know that a couple of people have made fan MySpaces, which is great for me. Uh, I'm just much more of a Facebook person. I, I'm sure I could get into MySpace, but I already know how to use Facebook, so uh, I use that more. I I literally just opened my real Facebook back up 
I had one a while ago, and then uh, Facebook deleted me because they didn't think I was really me. Oh, my goodness. And then they wanted me to send ID, and I was like, you know what, don't worry about it. Um, so I had a, I had a, one under a, a private name for a little while. Uh-huh. And then uh, about a couple weeks ago, I, I started my, um, uh, my, my fan Facebook back up again, so anybody can add me as a friend. I uh, check it as, o- as often as possible. Um, there's a link to it from kind of an old tweet on my Twitter, or um, RobbieMLFan.com has the link up to my, uh, my real Facebook. Great. So everybody can go ahead and stay in touch with uh, RobbieML on Twitter and Facebook.com. Thank you so much, yeah. Robbie. Thank you.